DeAndre Hopkins, who is best known as the superstar wide receiver for the Arizona Cardinals in the NFL, has managed to snag some pretty luxurious real estate in Paradise Valley, Arizona and Houston, Texas. A few weeks ago, DeAndre snatched a gorgeous Paradise Valley custom estate for $5.1 million. This luxurious home is located on the private 1.7 acre lot. It features 12,000 square feet of living space and boasts six bedrooms. Prior to this purchase, DeAndre got into some heat with his Houston home after recently making national head Headlines. Shortly after the COVID lockdowns began, the home began hosting late night parties almost every week. However, it has been reported that Hopkins had no connection to the parties. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a house tour that you do not want to miss. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though we've done house tours of our own, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anybody. DeAndre Hopkins had quite the lucrative career in the NFL, garnering a net worth of $40 million and currently earns $27 million per season. In addition, Hopkins has his own real estate company and is an endorser and investor in startups Beyond Meat, Therabody, BioSteel, and he is also a client of IMG Models. The salary is well worth it as DeAndre is a five-time Pro Bowler and has been named to five All-Pro teams. Not too shabby at all, DeAndre's first ticket was in 2013. After getting drafted, he signed his four-year deal with the Houston Texans for $7.6 million with $6 million guaranteed and a signing bonus of $3.9 million. This would be a measly deal compared to his next contract in 2017, which was a five-year deal with the Texans for $81 million with $49 million guaranteed and a signing bonus of $7.5 million. On March 20th, 2020, the Texans traded Hopkins and a fourth-round pick in the 2020 NFL Draft to the Arizona Cardinals. As sports writers called it, one of the worst trades of all time, and praising the Cardinals for robbing the Texans. On September 8th, 2020, it was revealed that DeAndre had signed a two-year, $54 million contract with the Arizona Cardinals. At the time of the signing, the contract made DeAndre the highest paid non-quarterback in NFL history. The deal included $42.7 million guaranteed. With Hopkins making bank from his salary and endorsements, it's only inevitable that he would snag a gorgeous custom estate in Paradise Valley. With a number of luxe features, including a resort-style lap pool, Hopkins is living the dream. What's going on, guys? It's Clyde Smith, and today we're bringing you another house tour right here on Famous Entertainment. Now, I did notice about 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we drop a new video daily. If you like these videos, ring that bell for notifications, follow me on the gram, and as per usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. All right, let's get into this video. DeAndre Hopkins high-end modern three-level retreat is located on Southmore in the center of a patio home community in Houston. DeAndre Hopkins was at the center of an ongoing dispute with neighbors, frustrated by late night parties. Shortly after the COVID lockdowns began, late night parties began occurring at the home almost every week. It was reported that Hopkins had no connection to the parties. The crazy thing about these parties is that they were all promoted heavily by third parties on Instagram, with tickets for table service sold via websites such as Eventbrite. Most of the parties at the home started with an entrance fee of around $70 and prices went up to the hundreds for VIP or bottle service. Security video obtained and news outlets observed dozens of cars parked on public and private streets. Music of all genres can be heard emanating from the backyard at night and mornings after. Bags upon bags of trash were left on the curb. Houston Police Department records show officers had been called to the house more than 60 times between May and October. The vast majority of calls were about loud noises, theft, parking, or littering. In fact, there is an active investigation of an incident where a partygoer allegedly ran over a neighbor's foot on purpose. Imagine being neighbors with DeAndre Hopkins and then one of his partygoers runs over your foot? Crazy. So it sounded like these parties were absolute bangers. The home features an abundance of luxe features, including a custom-built bar, decked out with massive island, and half a dozen seats. The home features multiple lounging areas, including a living area that comes complete with lavish furnishings, floor-to-ceiling windows, elegant carpet, and a cozy fireplace. The dining room features a wealth of custom fixtures, elegant chandelier, stylish artwork, and an island perfectly centered in the room. The bulk of noise complaints came from the backyard that features an outdoor entertainment system, barbecue area, fireplace, and a hot tub. Perfect for partying. I mean, hey, with a backyard like that, I think you would be hard pressed to keep it quiet. While some of those photos of the Houston home were pretty dope, Hopkins Paradise Valley home takes the cake in this house tour for sure. Purchased in February of 2021 for $5.1 million, the gorgeous custom estate is located on a private 1.7 acre corner lot and offers 12,000 square feet of living space and boasts a six bedroom contemporary design. In addition, the home features an eight car garage for Hopkins to keep all of his machines and homes in Paradise Valley 
Valley are some of the most luxurious spots, offering unobstructed views from Camelback Mountain and Piwastaw Peak. The upscale build incorporates high-end materials, appliances, and finishes. In addition, notable design elements in the residence include exposed concrete, concrete floors, and raw steel. The minimalist design was inspired by the innovative Australian architect, Glenn Murcutt. The modern mansion blends the outside environment into the living area with floor-to-ceiling glass windows that can pivot and retract. With a simple click of a button, guests lucky enough to visit can experience easy in and out floor throughout virtually every room in the house. In addition to the oversized windows that give the room bright life and an airy and roomy ambiance, there is no shortage of spots to soak in natural light and catch views of Camelback Mountain. The sleek living area includes a profusion of lavish furnishings, a dramatic fireplace, and luxe bar for guests that get a little thirsty. The dining room features more cozy furnishings, custom fixtures, and a grand dining table that could host the entire Arizona Cardinals offense. Connected to the dining room is an open kitchen that is decked out with stainless steel appliances, marble countertops, custom cabinetry, two islands perfectly centered in the room. In addition, the kitchen features a butler's pantry with more room than you know what to do with. Furthermore, the kitchen boasts colossal walls of glass that open to the luxurious outside, but we'll get to the outside in just a minute. The huge master suite includes a wealth of extravagant furnishings, a fireplace, enormous flat screen, and massive glass doors that open to the outdoors and two ensuite bathrooms. In addition, the master suite features a walk-in closet big enough to pose as another room in the house. The two ensuite bathrooms features dual sinks, a large soaking tub that boasts terrific mountain views, and a large standing shower, perfect for relaxation. As luxurious as the interior of this home is, the backyard is quite possibly one of the most glamorous house tours we've ever covered. To start, outside features a zero-edge resort-style lap pool, which is a true showstopper. The backyard features multiple outdoor spaces, including a spa, outdoor entertainment system, barbecue area, and bar and fireplace. With retractable walls from virtually every room in the house, you can enjoy the outdoor lounging anywhere you desire. The home was originally listed in 2016 for just under $8 million, and the property bounced on and off the market for years before Hopkins swooped in and scored a bargain. Uh, no offense to that Houston home, but I just think I'd rather party here. All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end right here. We got to take a quick look at DeAndre Hopkins' homes and that new dig he picked up in Paradise Valley. After seeing that fancy little abode he snagged, what did you think? Was it everything that you'd expect out of DeAndre Hopkins? I mean, personally, I'm a huge fan of that backyard that he has in Paradise Valley. I mean, just look at the infinity pool with the infinite places to lounge and party. Can't go wrong with that one. Out of all the features in Hopkins' homes, which were your fave? You guys can even go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. My name is Clyde Smith, and I'll see you guys in the next video.